control of your cruise itinerary, our sales agents will uh, discuss options for you and suggestions for different types of itineraries that you can do. So booking a boat is easy as one, two, three. First of all, um, you'll call your agent. You'll call Leah. Um, you'll choose a destination, uh, choose a boat type, and choose when you'd like to start and how many days you'd like to go for. So basically, we say who is a LeBoat customer. It's for everybody. We have had young, we've had um, people over 60, we've had people over 90, we've had families, we've had groups of friends, uh, we've had sailing clubs, um, couples. It's great for everybody. So basically, the Rideau Canal, it runs from Ottawa to Kingston. It is considered the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's got a total of 47 locks. It was built in 1832 and it's 202 kilometers in length. So we have two bases on the Rideau system. We have Smith Falls and we have Sealy's Bay, which is new last year. So we are now able, Sealy's Bay is actually 30 minutes from Kingston. So we're able to offer one-way rentals. But for this year, um, due to the situation, we are just, we are closing our Sealy's base and offering Smith Falls return, but that's not a disadvantage. There's still lots of itineraries that you can do as a round trip. So it's a basically, Rideau Canal is a perfect mix, mix of metropolitan Canadian cities. There's small towns. Um, there's also, there's a Murphy's Point Provincial Park, there's Westport and there's a winery there. Um, you can go up as far as Ottawa towards the Chateau Laurier uh, and see those buildings. Um, if you're looking for a really pretty time of year to go, um, that would be the fall time, which is uh, normally about the end of September, uh, October. So looking at this, this is more intense map. So Smith Falls here is our base. So you can go in opposite direction, you can go Smith Falls up to Ottawa and back, or you can go Smith Falls uh, down towards Kingston and back. You can do, our minimum is three nights, or you can do it up, we actually had somebody book it for 64 days. So yeah, so if you wanna do the whole system, even though you can do the whole system, we say three, three and a half weeks. Yeah, they just wanna enjoy, do a leisurely pace um, and get to know the locals. So basically, uh, if you're flying in here, we are 50, they say 40 minutes, but it depends on how fast you drive uh, from the Ottawa airport. Um, we do tell you some ways of getting to and from our bases that you can contact. Uh, there's some transportation companies. So there is, we do have a VRL station. You can do it by taxi, car rental, or a shuttle. Um, if you're coming from Montreal, we're about a two and a half hour drive from Montreal, uh, four hours from Toronto, and an hour drive from Kingston. So I put together some of the suggested cruising routes. Um, there's a lot here to look for, but basically if you're doing a three night, um, you'll get as far as Smith Falls to Perth and back. Perth is a very pretty little city with lots of towns and villages, or you can just basically um, cruise anywhere you want as long as you bring the boat back in time. Now we will discuss with you the lock times and what times you have to be there for. Normally it's 45 minutes before the last lock. Um, and then for a seven night cruise, you could go Smith Falls to Ottawa and back, or you can go Smith Falls down to uh, Jones Falls and back. And for the ones that want longer breaks, well, then you can decide if you wanna do the whole system. So looking at the sample itineraries, um, as you can see, there are a lot of uh, itineraries that we offer. And we will also send uh, your agent as well um, the suggested itinerary and everything you can see and do. And then you can have an idea as to which, uh, which way you want to cruise. So points of interest and key highlights along the Rideau Canal system. So we've got Portland in the Big Rideau Lake. It's a small village. Um, there's unique stores in the town, including antiques and collectibles. And there's also a Cataract Way uh, hiking trail pass just a bit east of town. You have Newborough. Um, this has one of my favorite huge stores there. Um, and ladies, you will love it there. Um, it's also a popular spot for fishing. 
Sealy's Bay, um, which is one of our bases. It's a charming little town, um, a great paddling station in a community park with playgrounds, fishing spots, tennis courts, picnic tables, and there's a little sliver of the region's history at the TP at Haskins Point. Um, then we're into the Big Rito. This is a, a more wide open uh, waterway, uh, great for uh, fishing, great for swimming. Um, you can even anchor in the lake and uh, just stay there for the day. Now you do have to moor at a at a spot overnight. Uh, we do rent, sorry, one man and two man kayaks as well as stand up paddle boards that you can take with you. Um, Rideau Ferry, uh, that's not far actually from Smith Falls. Um, it's got a great restaurant called Cece's on the Rideau and they actually named um, hamburger after us. They had the Labote burger and it's really good. There's also um, a great spot for if you need to replenish uh, some of your food. Um, there's a, also a little convenience store but also a little bakery there as well. You've got Westport. Westport is a very charming village. Um, it's, it's really pretty and it's got lots of restaurants. Uh, it's got lots of, um, it has the grocery stores if you need to uh, replenish your groceries. Uh, it has uh, the Schuerman Winery, uh, which does offer a shuttle from the boat to their place. And it actually has a stove, uh, outdoor stove oven that they cook the meals in. And they're well known for their uh, pizza. And they'll also do wine tasting there as well. So it's a it's a must if you if you head there. Um, then we're on to the lower Brewers Lock Station, and that has um, the last beautiful unequal arm swing bridge over the Rideau Canal. It's also home to Waddell Apple Orchard and Bankery. Um, so as we say, why not take some produce back for a picnic or visit the unique art studio, gallery shop, and mill museum. Shafee's Lock is home to the Opinicon. I'm not sure if any of you have heard of the Opinicon. It is a, it's a beautiful, huge resort um, that they've done up. Um, it has a, the restaurant there serves amazing food and it's well known for their ice cream. Here you can also do the Lockmaster Sweeney House Museum and walking trails. Um, and it's just, it, just uh, mooring there itself is just the scenery itself is really, really pretty. Then we got Jones Falls. This is, um, it has the highest lift of any lock station on the Rideau. You have four locks to go through. So this is where you really need to plan your time um, and be sure to visit Canada's Working Blacksmith Museum. Kingston Mills heading down even more south. Um, it's a lovely place for walking, picnicking, or fishing. Um, experienced climbers will love the rush of summiting the spectacular Christmas, sorry, Christmas Kingston Crag at Kingston Mills. I'm getting Christmas in there, I don't know why. <laughs> and then we're on to the city of Kingston. Um, it's a dynamic city. Uh, it does not, you cannot go uh, through the lock into Lake Ontario. So that's the furthest we go. It's nicknamed Limestone City because there's many heritage buildings constructed using local limestone. So heading north from Smith Falls, we've got Merrickville, and I'm actually, I only live about five minutes from here. Merrickville is a little jewel of a town. Um, it's actually been known as the horticulture area um, in Canada, I believe. Um, it's got lots of uh, stores and restaurants, and when you moor there, you're actually right in the village. Um, it's, it's more artist, uh, uh, artistic community. Then we've got Nicholson's, which is um, two locks that bypass a set of rapids on the Rideau. You've got Upper Nicholson's Lock Station featuring uh, one of the four remaining unequal arm center um, bearing timber swing bridges on the Rideau. Uh, these clever designs means that a single person can swing the entire bridge just by pushing. Burt's Rapids. This is located on an island in between the Rideau River and Rideau Canal. You can take a stroll through the village of Burt's Rapids to experience early Canadiana or some wonderful century-old buildings. It's got a great restaurant called Lock 17 Bistro just across the street from the lock station. Long Island you'll find tranquility of David Bartlett Park, the perfect picnic spot to take a break, sit back on wine and watch the world drip by. 
And then we're on to Manatick. It's a pleasant little town. Um, you can visit the Gingerbread Man confectionery shop for some old time Canadian sweets. Uh, they also have two public docks located on the main street um, with free mooring, no, no shore power, first come, first serve basis. And then after that, you'd be heading on to Ottawa. And I, I think everyone knows about Ottawa and how big a city it is, and you can do some lots of walking throughout the city. So to give you an idea for a short break, this is a three day Smith Falls to Perth. Um, so it, this is pretty much an itinerary saying how you would go, you'd go, you'd leave Smith Falls, you'd be through bridge 30 to 45 minutes through, um, through the swing bridge, you've got the Punamali Lock, then you're into the lower beverages up to the Tay Canal towards Perth. So this is just, um, just uh, the Tay Canal is just off of the Rideau Canal. Now the Tay Canal can only take our smaller boats. Um, if you have the bigger boats, we'll ask you to moor at one of the Parks Canada locks called Beverages Locks and take a taxi to Perth from there. And then you'll come back this um, pretty much the same route, but again, these are open waterways, so you can always come back the other side. It's, um, it's uh, even though it is a return trip, it's not necessarily that you're gonna see the same things. And then just to give you an idea on the Westport, um, as you can see in the picture here, uh, where they're cooking in the stone ovens at the Sherman Winery. Then also you're, you're sitting on a cliff here at the top uh, at Westport that you can overlook the village and it's very, very nice, especially in the fall. And go, continuing on, um, so basically uh, to the bottom right corner, this is part of the Opinicon Resort and their famous little ice cream store in there. And just looking at um, the fall colors as to what you'll see in this area is, it's, it's beautiful. Great time to actually cruise. I actually have for the past two years brought a boat back Thanksgiving weekend um, from Sealy's Bay to Smith Falls and the fall colors were were so beautiful as well we were cruising outside most of the time so e the boats do have heaters but actually we actually didn't need them this the past two years the weather here has been wonderful so this is our boats in canada we only offer the horizon fleet which are our premier fleet these are all brand new boats so we started off with 16 boats in 2018. 2019, we had four more come. And 2020, we have four more coming. So we are now at 24 boats. Um, this product is doing very, very well. And we're getting about 96% satisfaction reviews. What's included in the price? Well, you have the full use of the boat for the duration. You have a fully equipped kitchen with a fridge, a gas, uh, oven you have um, as well as stove you have dishes utensils and a microwave you have bathroom facilities with hot showers and toilets we give you towels and tea towels we also give you pillows duvets and bed linen as well as cruising maps user manual and tourist information all your safety equipment all your deck equipment your full briefing by a base staff and a practice run before departure your passage through locks, your lock fees, moorings at all the Parks Canada locks. So that means that we're at, you can moor anywhere at the Parks Canada locks and that's all included. And there's quite a few of them at the, at the systems and it's not usually an, an issue trying to find the space available. You're given a barbecue hot plate on the top deck. You've got the top deck cushions and a bimini included. We do send out an extras list if you wanted to rent a bicycle, if you want us to provide a grocery pack, uh, stand up paddle boards, kayaks, um, special occasion gift baskets, lanterns. And then just giving you an idea of the horizon, as you can see, uh, you've got the bimini on top, which provides quite a bit of shade. Um, on the back of the boat is a big, huge patio door with screen. You've got a bench seat. Um, actually, there's a, a pole that pulls out that can hold the bicycles. And you also got a ladder that you can swim off the back. And you can walk around the whole um, outside of this boat. There's also a bench in the front. And there's also an anchor in the front as well. 
So they're very uh, spacious uh, fun deck with the table sink and barbecue hot plate on the top. Um, it's also got a lounge area that you can uh, sunbathe on top as well. Um, and it's got dual steering so you can steer from the outside or the inside. And it has uh, air cooling which means that it um, blows uh, the water through a system to blow cool air. Um, also sometimes it gets a little humid here so we also provide um, fans in the bedrooms as well. Uh, we also, and as I mentioned prior, we also have heat on board if needed. All the cabins, uh, they all have USB ports. Um, and it's 110 uh, for the outlets. So it's the same standard outlets here. Whereas if you go and rent in Europe, it will be their 220. So looking at here, so um, to the top right hand, you'll see uh, it's the main cabin in the front. Uh, down below it is the kitchen area. Now the uh, couch there actually turns into a bed as well. I know that on one of our cruises uh, we turned the bed in or sorry turn the couch into a bed and we sat there and we watched movies on the TV <laughs> because it was raining. So we're like okay well let's just veg and, and watch TV and have popcorn. <laughs> so um, it's a very nice uh, open concepts so and the reason for this boat um, that gets good reviews as well is because of the windows all around it so you're seeing in all directions so with our we have five different models of horizon boats we had them uh, we call them horizon one two three four five uh, they sleep two to twelve so this first boat that we have is the horizon one this is more perfect for if you have a couple or if you have a couple of kids. So you got the main cabin at the front um, and you have a side cabin. Now the, that's not a half bed. It just means that because it goes up a step, part of the top will go over that, that cabin, okay? So this boat has two cabins and one bathroom. Now the showers are separate. It's not like some of the boats where you have to remove everything out of your bathroom and have the shower in the whole bathroom. This one has glass and closed uh, doors for a shower and your toilet and a sink. For the Horizon 2, um, it has the two cabins and this one has two bathrooms. Um, again, this, this one would be fine for two couples, but what we find with, uh, with our market is some, especially if there's two couples, they like to have an extra cabin either for if somebody wants to sleep on their own or if they want storage area. Moving on to the three, which is a three cabin, three bathroom boat. Again, they'll all have their own bathrooms. And the, this is one of our most popular uh, boats. Um, and the front main cabin has the bath sorry the bedroom but it also has to the right you have your toilet and sink but to the left is your shower so it's actually quite um, bigger for the showers or sorry for the bathrooms uh, so the horizon one and two are the same length and the, then getting into the three and four is going to be the same length for each other this horizon three actually sleeps up to eight so you have two in the front two in the side cabins in each side and then the saloon area turns into a bed the horizon four as i mentioned it's the same length as the horizon three but what they do is they put a, a wall in between the main cabin at the front and then those two bathrooms are two ensuite bathrooms this one sleeps up to ten and then we got our Horizon 5, which actually came over last year. It's new for us. And this is for if you have groups um, or large families. This one has been uh, quite popular. And this one is our longer boat. Uh, it's 47 feet in length. Um, don't be discouraged because with these boats, they have bow and stern thrusters. So you can actually turn this boat in a complete circle. So when, and it's, complete so easy when you get into a lock all our locks are manned by lock masters so you don't do any work whatsoever all you do is just put a rope around a wire they do everything for you so you can get into a lock and you just push the button and you're going sideways so that you can moor up to it so this boat actually holds 12 um, so you've got four side cabins and you got one main cabin in the front and then at the at the uh, top deck you have a, another section near the front of the boat that has another uh, lounger that you can you can sunbathe on. 
So just to give you an idea, you can moor your boat. If you moor at private marinas, uh, they will charge you. But again, we have lots of um, uh, Parks Canada mooring spots that you can do for free. We also include mooring at Westport for the first two boats and there's mooring included in Portland and Sealy's Bay. So basically the lock stations, 24 lock stations and there's 47 locks on the Rideau. So each lock has three to four Parks Canada staff members to help you out in any way they can. And these are the chart maps that you'll be given when you arrive. Um, they're called track maps. You'll also get a ports guide and then you'll get our regional um, Rideau Canal mini guide as well. And the team, the base team here is amazing. They'll go through everything with you, answer any questions you have, help you um, with your itinerary. And they're also there if you need them during uh, your cruising as well. They will give you a uh, helpline. So if you decide that you wanna stay longer, um, because we do have people that are doing this as an add-on, so they're gonna do a pre or post tour after they're done. Uh, so if you wanted to do a tour in Ottawa or Kingston or Toronto, um, it's a great spot for doing that. Uh, the Rideau system, you know, Ottawa is the top of it, Kingston's the bottom. And then from Kingston to Toronto, you're only about an hour and a half um, away from there. So, that's the end of my presentation. I want to thank Leah for allowing me to present our product to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please contact her. I've put the email address and the phone number. I've also given her a copy of the presentation um, if anyone is interested. And uh, yeah, so just to let you know, um, as everybody um, is going through this situation, we are doing safety measures. We have protocols in place for those who are checking in, uh, doing the training. They all go through this with you. They'll be giving you calls beforehand, um, the processes and so forth. Um, right now, uh, they're saying, you know, this is, a, this is a great product because it's great for distancing. So you can be on a boat with just your family um, now we do have some boaters that are traveling together, but they're also on their own boats. So it's a great way to do group travel as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Um, uh, Dylan has a question about bikes. Are you yeah. able to bring your own bike? You can bring your own bikes. You can bring your own kayak. Um, you can bring oh. them, your own stand up paddleboard. We just provide them if needed. Um, but if you do want to rent a bike, we do have a limited supply. So we do um, suggest that you pre book those as soon in advance as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think. Um, it's about 45 minutes if you want to, or the little lesson that they give you or that you guys give clients on how to uh, operate the boat. It's not lengthy, which is amazing. I'm always surprised at how well, little <laughs> time it takes to learn. I'd say, I say 45 minutes, but it depends on if you have experience or not. So okay. um, those that have been on the waterways uh, will be, a, of course, not having needing the training as much, but we have... <laughs> we have had uh, customers and I think they're from South America and they still weren't comfortable and we we stayed with them for about six hours for training wow <laughs> yeah so we'll we'll stay as long as you're comfortable oh okay. not a problem good to know so it's not 45 minutes and then goodbye you're on your no, own <laughs> no 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 we'd never do that to you no it's oh. whatever you're comfortable with and you you try the driving out and see if hey if this will work now we do require a minimum of two adults 18 and older on these boats okay. um so yeah it's uh it's it is a great way to travel honestly i Rito canals in my background or in my um you know, in my area, and I taken it for advantage. I just never use it enough. Yeah. And when the boat came, and I got out on the boats, and I'm like, wow, this, you know what, this is a great way to just rest, relax, just yeah. let everything go. Um, I've done the boat over in Italy. That's an amazing, amazing um, tour as well, where we visited Murano, Burano, Venice. Uh, wow. I did. I live actually lived on the Canal de Midi for a month training with the boat, um, mm. which was spectacular. Yeah. So just, you know, I never thought about this way of travel before. Um, I used to be a travel agent for 21 years prior to joining the boat. And um, 
the more that I've done it, I'm thinking, wow, you know what? You do it at your own pace. You're not following um, an itinerary. Uh, you just go and do it at your leisure with suggestions and, um, and it always works out. Yeah. I always said, um, when I first became a travel agent, like five years ago, and Le Boat sent out their first brochure that I received in the mail, <laughs> it, it stayed on our kitchen table for the longest time because we've been dreaming. And even since then, I still haven't gone, but I just can imagine, you know, um, docking alongside the river, you know, in Europe, getting off, taking your bike into town, buying local groceries, mm -hmm. um, visiting you know the little the charm of the little villages there and then getting back on your boat whenever you feel like it for the evening it would be yeah, such exactly. a relaxing way oh, to it's see Europe so relaxing and I've taken my family and they're like oh we got to keep doing this like this is just an amazing it's where they can just unwind and relax and yeah. you're away from everything right. so you know it, the busyness of of you know you don't have to worry about traffic booking hotels everything's all here at once and you're visiting different places um, especially with the Canal du Midi they have a cycle path that follows the whole Canal du Midi so it's great for cyclists um, wow. and visiting Carcassonne which is a medieval city well-known um, attraction like there's there's so much out there that that you know that we haven't touched upon and it's yeah it's it's just yeah. a great way to do this and also you're with the people that you that you want to be with right yeah and for this year this is a great uh, option you know for people that want to yep. stay stay close to home stay close to home um, Guylaine's wondering though with the difference in boats for Europe Mm -hmm. uh, you offer this line in Europe as well, right? Yep. But you mentioned there is also other boats too in Europe? Yep. So we have four different classes of boats. Uh, we have budget, which are, is our older models. Uh, we have comfort, which is the next, um, the newer than the budget. They have a little bit more features. Then we have the comfort plus, uh, which are the mystique and the royal mystiques. And they're very popular as well. Um, they have uh, air conditioning, they have the top deck barbecue, the, they've got almost as much as the premier, um, but ju they're just an older, um, they're older than the premier boat. So that's why they have their own class. And then in our premier class, we have the Horizon Fleet, which is the newest, and we got the Vision Fleet. The Vision Fleet are our longest boats, they're 49 feet in length. So we do tell people if you're cruising, you need at least three experienced or four non-experienced um, just so that you can work the locks um, okay. because some of the locks over there you do have to do yourself. I see and with that boat uh, with the vision line mm -hmm. what is the obviously it's a bigger boat it carries more people? Yeah no it doesn't carry more people but it's a little bit yeah. more spacious it's got a whole different um, inside uh, layout so basically you're going through the back but you're going down a hallway and the cabins are one after the other. Oh, so it's kind of yeah. like a train in a way mm -hmm. that the cabins are one of the after and then your main area is in the front. Oh, very good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other questions. If anyone has any, um, feel free to unmute yourself if you want. I think you can do that or just type <laughs> it in the chat box. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's any others. Doesn't look like this. Yeah. Any so if you're flying out. in here, there's. Um, I know the airlines are going to be starting to operate more and more mm -hmm. um, as we go along. So Ottawa would be the best um, airport to fly into. Um, as I mentioned, it's only 50 minutes from here. And then uh, we can get you set up on uh, your cruise and yeah, and on your way. Does the boat offer transfers from the airport? Is that like an additional? We it is an additional. We do offer companies that that do it, um, whether you do a taxi or a we give you different options with I wouldn't from Ottawa, I wouldn't suggest a train, even though some do it because the train station is not right at the airport. So you would have to take a taxi to the train station, um, take the train here to Smith Falls and then take another taxi to our base. Okay. So we do have companies that will just take you from the airport to here. Yeah. And then also, I know that you guys will do the grocery shopping for us if, you, mm -hmm. if we want, and groceries yep. would be all on board by the time we arrive. 
Yep. Thank so we have two different packs for that. We have a sundowner pack, which is just a small um, little grocery pack to get you set. Um, and then we have the larger grocery pack that gets you, gives you your butter, your eggs, that sort of thing. Um, there's a list. Or you can also, we, in Smith Falls, you're in the, you're right in the middle of town where you're mooring. So we have lots of grocery stores and restaurants around. Uh, we also have a grocery store that you can order, pre-order online as well. Okay. Good to know. Perfect. Well, yeah. looks like we don't have any other questions at this time. So thank yeah. you so much Lori, You're welcome. for joining us. And if that you have any great. questions at all, um, just ask Leah. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And uh, we hope to see you soon because yes. it's a great, honestly, it's a great waterway to cruise on. And so much, so many of us have not even been to Ontario. It's like another country. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a it lot is. of the towns that you mentioned, I don't think I have heard of. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, it would be a perfect destination right now to. Yeah. And if you're a shopper, it's a great, this, the villages are great for shopping. Oh, nice. Yeah. You mentioned yeah, that sure. one. The ladies would like. <laughs> oh, the Newborough. Yeah. The Newborough store. Yeah. I'll have to mark that on my list. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Well, on Thursday night, we have coming up Scotland. Um, that's our next travel talk at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So mark it on your list. Hope you'll join us then. We are taking a virtual tour of Scotland and we'll also be talking about our group trip that I am hosting there in September of 21. So nice. Thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So everyone have a great night. What's rest of it? Uh, the rest of it, I guess. And thank you all for joining and for having me. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you, Lori. You have a great evening and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Take Bye -bye care. Bye-bye.